The Midnight Knocks are a deck of playing cards by Knock Playing Cards in Theory 11, which was the first deck of Knock Playing Cards that was fully marked. A fully marked deck is when you can know what all the faces are based upon the back design, with both suit and value. But recently, Knock Playing Cards released the Knock Pros, which based upon the back design so far in all the trailers have pretty much just looked exactly like these. I mean, it has four different colorways, but is there any differences? Let's get into Deck Battles Episode 2 right now. Let's start with the tuck boxes where both of them are done on a matte cardstock. Both either have embossing or debossing and they're both pretty simple. There's not really a ton going on either of these tuck boxes and for the most part, they're really not what you're here for. I mean, this one, the Midnight Knock does have some gold foil and the Pr Knock Pros does have a custom tuck seal, but outside of that, they're pretty much the same. So would I give a point to either of these for the tuck box? I'm gonna say no, the first one is a tie. Next we have the number cards, and again they are all bicycle standard, so this will be a tie as well. Next is the back design, which is more than likely what you've been waiting to hear, and they are the exact same thing. Literally nothing different, except for if you bought a different color. The court cards are the exact same, so this one goes neither way. The knock pros and the midnight knocks do have slightly different ace of spades, just for the pips, but it's not really different enough for me to grant a point either way. Same thing goes for the duplicate jokers where you have the midnight knocks and the knock pros and neither is really that great. The two ad cards are pretty much the only thing different about these decks. The first one for the midnight knocks we're going to have a theory 11 ad card and the first one for the knock pros you get a duplicate queen of hearts. Speaking of doubles you do get a double backer as your second card for the midnight knocks and the last one for the knock pros is just an ad card showing you a QR code which sends you to a place where you can read it, the marking system and figure out how it's fully marked, but if you don't want to leave YouTube and you want to f watch a video on it, I'll leave it in the description because I already made a video tutorial on it and I'll leave it right there at the end of the video. And lastly with these two decks you have the stock and the finish and they're the exact same thing. They feel no different in your hands, have fun using these two exactly the same decks. So the final verdict between these two decks of cards, I have awarded still zero points to either one. Um, so if I had to give my money to one of the other to buy one of them, I'm going to go with I'm truly not sure and here's why. I would first vote the Midnight Knox simply because of the fact that it is the original and because it also benefits 311 in this case and not just knock playing cards. But this one does have four different colorways which is definitely nice. Also because it benefits 311 it makes it feel like less of a ripoff because this one feels like just like a money grab. If I had to go with one of them, I'd probably go with this one just because I could get possibly a different color. I do love the fact that Knock Playing Cards has made a fully marked Knock deck. So if you wanna see all the marked playing cards that I have already revealed, I'll leave it right here in a second, and this one specifically right here. But if you wanna see another episode of Deck Battles when you get to episode three, let me know what deck battle you wanna see. And if you would've awarded a point either way, let me know that too. Although I have a feeling I'm not gonna be getting many comments on that. So don't forget to check out these videos here and here, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Make sure to subscribe if you do enjoy this type of content. This is Card Perfect, signing off.